All right, it's time we talk about the XT30 power strip. This one right here is to be used with 12 of the scooter uh, battery packs, like this one right here, the 20 cell and the 30 cell, and I guess any other scooter pack uh, that is got a XT30 connector, right? And that's why it's got the XT30 little things there. Um, let me show you one way to use them with these, because these are very popular. Okay, so the challenging part that comes with wiring 12 of these battery modules, uh, you you know, all 12 of them on this, it comes with the fact that these have very, very short leads on the XT30. So the best solution that I found that works is to pair two of them with the flat side back to back, right? And then you have these two leads really close and then put uh, three of them on this side and then three of them on that side. So they zigzag, right? One, two of these go to this side and then the next two go to that side and then the next two go to that side. And then it just uh, the opposite on this side, right? It's two, the first two go to this side, the next one's here, there. So they just go back and forth. Um, could you put these ones over here? Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit tight. See how they're stretched out like that? You can't. That's the problem with these batteries, that they have very short lead. So I am going to design a better, uh, a different version of this PCB board here so that allows you to just put uh, maybe two rows, uh, one on the bottom, one on top, just in case you don't want to spread out this much. But this does work this way. And now what I want to do is the way set up here is I connected 2000 watts of inverters in here and then we're going to load it up and see how well it does with the thermal camera and see, you know, if it handles 60 amps on there. Uh, yeah, to the point where these will start shutting off because we're exceeding the power output that they can do, right? These can do five amps each, a little bit more, five and a half amps. So let's do that test now. Okay, so here we go. We connected the first one. Let's see what it does. Uh, here we go. 25 amps. So 822, 120 watts. That's where it's settled at. Let's connect the second one. See what it does. The second one should come online in a few seconds. There should go somewhere around 50 or 55 amps. 30, 32, 36, 40, 50. Okay, 50. So this one's also at around 840. This one's down to 800. This is 51. Let's leave it there for a little while. Let's see what it does. All right, here we go. It's been, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes since I started this test. And it's holding at 49, 50 amps this whole time. So this is uh, where we're seeing here. The, the weakest point, I guess, is that exit cable. Ooh, 60 degrees right there. 60 degrees at the exit point at 50 amps. Uh, then the XT90, it's at 63, so three degrees more. Ooh, that right there, the actual contact, it's somewhere on 68. And then this is an external cable. Oh, those other contacts over there are 80. Those are terrible. Maybe I should uh, not be using those other bullet connectors. What? That's crazy. Those bullet points are way hotter. There's another XT90. 
But what we're really interested here is the actual board here. The actual board is, look at that, it's pretty cool. On the size there, it's just that exit point. Yeah, it gets to around 50, ooh, 58 now. 60 degrees right there on those. Uh, and by the way, how hot is that? I'm touching it. It's hot. Yeah, yeah. It's uncomfortable. Ooh, yeah, it's uncomfortable to the uh, to the touch. But not so much that it's going to scald you, right? 60 degrees uh, Celsius. Yeah. So that's about the upper that you would want to see. This is at full peak. These little boards, uh, we're, we're rating them at 50 amps. So that's the maximum that this can do, which is about the maximum that these little batteries, 12 of these little batteries can do. So there you go. At about 20 minutes, this is are the temperatures, the working temperatures on this. And this is okay. This is a 200 degree celsius uh wire right here the uh, the pcb board uh material that can do yeah somewhere around 200 degrees also before it starts breaking down those connectors there they can handle 50 60 degrees no problem um yeah this will be the maximum right this is the maximum this is peak so if you design your system you know don't design it to run a peak because that's the well you will get the least lifespan of everything the connectors the wires the the you know the batteries everything right this is where your max should be at and then it should be operating continuous load should be a little bit below that you know 20 percent uh it's probably a good rule of thumb there when you're running this thing So there you go. This is the XT30 uh, power strip designed to work on small to medium projects, right? Up to 12 of the scooter packs that have the XT30 uh, connector. By the way, all these XT30 connector uh, scooter packs are 36 volts, right? But there's no reason why you couldn't use this at a different voltage, right? If you find some batteries that have XT30s, connectors and they're a uh, different voltage maybe 48 higher voltage or 12 or 24 volts or whatever yeah this doesn't care you can't just you have to they all have to be alike because this is just a combiner this just combines all of these into this bigger one right um so yeah this is designed for those packs right but they could be used for anything for all your diy projects uh and that needs to be converted a bunch of batteries xc30 to xc90 uh xt90 female all right so there you go this is available at jack35.com i want to thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one